Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Trigger Happy Havoc Danganronpa. So today, we're gonna finish up the remaining investigation on Hope's Peak Academy, right? So we're gonna start with a bio lab here, right? Bio lab? Bio room? Raw, it says raw. Okay, let's go inside. What is this? Yeah, it seems like it's very cold in here. Well, here I am in the bio lab. It is so cold. It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously though, why is it so cold? Um, okay, let me check. What is this? Tarp? Uh, stack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of these things lately. True. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. And on the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. But on the other side... What do you mean on the other side? Oh, this side. So how many is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... So 16! 16 of this, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Okay, let me just check first. There's some kind of weird machine. Okay, that's it. I've seen this kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. A fridge. Oh, so this is pretty much like a morgue. Okay, okay. So that's why it was 16 because it's for the bodies of the students. 16 bodies. In case, I mean. Does it mean that this biolab is actually a morgue? I should probably take a look or a closer look around. Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. It looks like an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. In addition to the germicidal lamps, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Simply insert the cadaver and the blue light will let you know that the automated systems have it activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings. With our system, anyone can keep a body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. In the unlikely event of a problem, the red light will activate and an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel and we'd offer an optional a little upholstery upgrade package. Okay. Wait, so that's it? This is it for this place? Icicles, but... Okay, how many died already? Okay, let me just check. So we got one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got nine deaths plus, uh, for example, Mukuro, right? So ten. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine deaths, nine bodies here. If a cadaver is inside, it is dead. Or there is something inside, right? That's why there's a light. And this one are empty. Six. The six remaining students. Someone is still alive. Yeah. Someone is definitely still alive. Someone that died is still alive. And they keep repeating it and saying it that... Oh, 16 students entered this place, right? They kept repeating it, so... Always repeating it. So, for sure, there's only 16 students. But, we have basically 7 students still alive. So, someone who died... Is still alive. But who? Oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be very interesting. Okay, let's go explore first. I'm gonna think about it later. Wait, you're done here though. You checked it, sir. Okay. Okay, it seems to clear uh to clear to me now. It was a makeshift morgue. Okay, buy lab secret and about those lights by each slot. It looks like it's set up so that when a slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. 
which would mean inside each slot lit up in blue, another one of the victims is... Biolab lights. Okay, so we got two crude bullets. I can't let my emotion take control right now. Only one thing I can do for everyone who's died, and that's defeat the mastermind. And to do that, I have to continue my investigation. Okay, I don't have any other option. Okay, so... Um, our mystery is just getting bigger and bigger. So there's definitely one person still alive. Yep. How do you open a map? Okay, then. This one, the dojo. Toko is here. Oh, Toko, so this is where you were. What do you want? What do you want? Am I so disgusting you want me out of your sight? No, 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 no. That's not it at all. I just thought maybe you'd found a clue. <laughs> well, I haven't. I didn't find anything. Not a single clue. <laughs> I figured since th this place was related to the case, it would have to have something, right? But there wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. <laughs> so give it back. Give me back my precious time. Calm down, Toko. What's your problem? Don't tell me to calm down. Do you have any idea what I'm going through right now? When everyone finds out, they're gonna call me useless. Good for nothing. Nobody's gonna say that. <laughs> Master, well, I, yeah, I think she doesn't care if the other people say it, though. She cares if Byakuya will say it. I'm not sure I can disagree with that. Uh, I don't want that. I'm sick of always being looked down on. Why don't? Why won't anyone accept me? Um. Well, I don't think there are any clues here, so maybe I'm gonna get going. <laughs> yeah, let's just leave. Okay, so it's the other side, right? No, no, here, here. The last one, I guess. The garden. It's gone. Oh, the body. Yeah. Oh, so the body's in the morgue now. So that means, so yeah, it's solidified. It's right. Yeah. I didn't, uh, I forgot about that, right? Yeah, I forgot the body was here. I, w I was thinking already that it was already there earlier in the bio lab. It's not here because it's in the bio lab already. Maybe the body's inside the tool shed. I'd better check just to be sure. Okay, now I didn't write anything even close to a dead body, but if it's not in here either, then it must be. Could it be in the bio lab? But corpses aren't the only thing I need to check in here. There's one other thing. The tarp. A tarp played a key role in another case, so I'd better look into it. The killer used a tarp to keep the sprinklers from getting the body wet, which means the killer might have left some clue behind here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I just noticed it, right? We, you, you saw the tarp in the bio lab, right? It's the same color as this one. It's white as well. So, someone got the body in the bio lab, right? Brought it here and then said it was Mukuro. So it was, uh, Mukuro probably still alive, right? And then, yes, this solidifies, uh, give me much more evidence that the body that we saw here, it was Junko. Yeah, the body that we saw here, it was Junko. They faked it. They said it was a 16 student, but it was Junko instead. Right? Correct, right? Because why would this tarp be here? They, they got Junko's body, put it in the tarp, brought it here. Right? I didn't notice this before, but there's a small stamp on one corner of the tarp. See? Biolab. It is Biolab. Then this originally came from the Biolab. Okay. 
Okay, let me just check this again. This was important back then. Yeah, the pickaxe, right? The crazy diamond one. It's the same thing that was written on the back of Mondo's coat. This pickaxe is connected to Mondo somehow. Strange. Hmm. I mean, I guess we're done here again. Where do we go now? That's all I really need to check here. Um, what is the other places again? So we got um, several rooms. Garden and dojo. Yeah, check everything though. Okay, I guess we need to check more places though. Garden, the bio lab, the dojo, data center. We check that place. There's no one here though. Okay, let me try to check this place. Is it even... Because, yeah, we checked all of the places already, right? Is there anything even here? Like, look, there's nothing here. Only one thing. Two things. Right? Okay, let me go to... Um, why doesn't it remove it though? So we know w what we've checked already, right? Okay, but let's let's try to go back to the bio lab. I was thinking about going to Biakia, but let's go back to the bi to the bio lab, I guess. Oh, wait, what is it done? Is everyone working hard? Is your investigation coming along nicely? Well then, since you're all giving it your best, okay. your generous headmaster will give you a little hint. <laughs> For those of you who are interested, please make your way to the gym ASA possible. Okay, I was actually go I was actually there. Yeah, I was thinking for a place to go. Now he wants to give us a hint. Okay, suspicious. Uh, there's no doubt about that. This could be a trap. But even knowing that... Uh, he said to go to the gym, right? Okay, let's go there. I was just there. And now we're here. Oh yeah, Hagakura. I forgot about him. Honestly, I forgot about this guy. Like, I was looking for other people to talk to. That's why I was thinking about maybe going to Byakuya. But yeah, Hagakure. Oh, hey, hero. <laughs> Why did you act so surprised? Uh, um... No reason. You heard Munakuma's announcement, right? Are you here to find out what he has to say? <sighs> I just did, actually. I'm on my way out. You already talked to him? What did he say? Listen, sorry, but... <sighs> I gotta go with this dude, man. This is the end. Why you keep hiding? Why do you have secrets still? Hero, wait. There was no point in trying to stop him. He ran off like a frightened animal. Hero? It was like he was trying to avoid me. I was hoping to talk to him about the notebook I found in the locker. Oh, yeah. He had been hiding something this whole time? Or has he been hiding something this whole time? Fine. Let's just go to the gym. What do you have for us, sir? Hello, welcome, welcome, hello. Are you ready for your final hint? Well, it just happens to be in the envelope on the ground in front of me. Ooh, the envelope. This one. This must be the envelope. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, right, let's just check it then. Monokuma's cryptic words didn't make me feel any better, but I picked up the envelope and opened it. What I found was a single photograph. Oh, look. Look at this. 100% sure now. Mukuro is the one on the left side, right? Look at Mukuro. She's so... Not weird, but she has a very, very cold look, right? And look at Junko's face. Yeah, look at each... Look at Taka, I mean. His hands are up, so we couldn't see Junko's face here. Celeste on the top left. Wait, is Makoto not here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Makoto is not here. It was everyone who'd come to Hope speak at the same time as me. Wait, but... Yeah, there's someone behind Sayaka. She's the only one I don't recognize. That's not true. I do recognize her. That's right. When Byaki and I were in the headmaster's room and we looked at that file... Mukuro Ikusaba. Then this girl is... Wait, what? Why? Why is Mukuro here with everyone else? And even more than that... Well, why am I not here? Say that. Just having everyone here pose like this is weird enough by itself. And we're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like this. And now that I'm looking at it, it's not even everyone. Yeah, you're not there. I'm not in the picture. I'm the only one not there. The picture has all 15 other students, but not me. But I guess it makes sense. After all, I don't even remember taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Saika, but the first time I met everyone else was when we arrived at Hope Speak Academy. So it's natural for me not to be in this picture, but what's definitely unnatural is that everyone else is in the picture. I thought everyone was like me and they didn't know each other till they got here. But if this picture is real, then could that mean... Could it be? Everyone else and just me. Everyone here except me is... But we haven't seen a picture with Makoto though, right? Yeah, I didn't uh, notice that. The pictures we've been seeing, uh, I think, yeah, two pictures, right, were pretty much the other characters, but not Makoto. And then we see a picture here, a class picture, but Makoto is not here again. <laughs> How long are you gonna keep up this rambling soliloquy of yours, Hamlet? What are you gonna do? You're kind of getting in the way of standing there, you know? Hmm. So, I mean, get out. But, I told you, I'm not fielding any questions. I Unbelievable. What kind of misery or yeah, a misery would this be if I gave you all the answers? That'd be totally out of left field. I guess it means he's done talking. Damn it. Group photo. Okay. Where do we go next? Dude, you see that Mukuro? She's right there. She's like a ghost, honestly. So in the end, all I found at the gym was even more confusion. And with that confusion in hand, I left the gym dejected. Okay, where do we go? How does that count as a hint though? It just made me even more confused. Is that what Munikuma was going for? Did he put together a fake photo just to confuse me? But it looked so real, so full of life. How could anyone fake that? Which would mean everyone but me. Maybe I should just ask everyone directly. That should clear all of this up. Oh yeah, we could show the picture, right? No, I have to clear this up. Um... Okay. Dining hall. Okay, let's start with that one. We the AOE right here. So this is where you've been hiding. Listen, I was hoping to talk to you. Oh. Makoto? I'm uh, sorry, gotta go. Dude, what is wrong with them? Why are they hiding? What? She ran off so fast, I didn't even have time to ask her to stop. Hina? 
Why? Why won't you talk to me? What? Maybe they're giving pictures as well, right? And they, they saw that Makoto was not in the picture? Maybe, right? And that maybe that's why they're kind of like very, very suspicious of Makoto right now. Even Hagakure earlier, right? He was like... Okay, Byaka is right here. He was like, uh, I gotta go. And he doesn't want to say anything. Maybe they're thinking that Makoto is the bad guy. He's the mastermind. But yeah, why is Makoto not in the picture, though? That's the thing, right? How about you, sir? Are you gonna talk to me? Oh, Vyakia. Listen, do you think we could talk? That's Even enough. him. I have nothing to talk to you about. <laughs> Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Vyakia, wait. But of course, he didn't. He just walked away. Why was he acting like then? Like he was purposely trying to avoid me? Okay, everyone wants to avoid us now. Garden. Biolab. Okay, let's go to the garden first. Like the biolab seems like it's going to be much more important, right? Because of the tarp that we saw earlier. He's just gonna run away again. Yeah. Makoto! What's going on with you? Every time I see you, you freak out like that. Uh, um. No, I... Uh. Sorry, but I'm in a big hurry. Once again, he ran off like a terrified rabbit. What's wrong, hero? I still wasn't able to talk to him about the notebook I'd found. It was like he's avoiding me. Like he was afraid of me. Why? Because they think that you're the bad guy, sir. They think that maybe you're the mastermind because you're not in the picture, right? But we'll see. We'll see. How about Kyoko? Where's Kyoko? I decided to visit the biolab one more time. Then the first thing I saw when I got there is Toko. Was her passed out again? Wait, did she check a body? Okay. <laughs> and she passed out after that. Are you okay, Toko? No. She's not dead, is she? Okay, Jill is back. It's cold. It's super cold. It's so cold, I think I might catch a cold. If you keep taking naps in a place like this, I'm sure you will. What? I was asleep. I must have fainted again. I bet you were standing there staring at me, getting all excited, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Hmm? Have you oh, then... That certain age? What? Hot and bothered? Straight up horny? Um, okay, so why did you pass out? <laughs> I don't know. Last thing I remember was me waking up just now. What do you do to Miss Morose? Oh, that's right. Your memory stops and starts each time you switch. Bingo Bazinga. So we share some basic knowledge, but our memories are uh, very much separate. So everything that Toko sees, um, Jill doesn't see, right? And don't say it like it's a bad thing. It's a blessing as far as I'm concerned. Because <laughs> even if she forgets something, I totally remember. Wait, what? Because even if she forgets something, I totally remember. So it's like double the memory. Uh, no. It's more like half. Okay, Genocide Jack's memory. Um, let me see that again. I kind of get confused there. Um, because even while Soko and Genocide Jack shares fundamental individual knowledge, and their individual memories are separate. Okay, okay. But all I want to know right now is where's my little darling? Tell me now or I'll slit her throat. I don't know. I'm sure Byakos or Baki is around somewhere doing his own investigating. Mm, yes, yes. By himself. I assume so. Oh, I'm on fire. I knew it. I totally knew it. I am a total pro when it comes to all things master. <laughs> anyway, I gotta hurry. I can't even imagine how lovely he must be right now.
Toko shut off, her eerie laughter echoing behind her. Totally forgot to ask her about the picture. Well, there's no point asking Genocide Jack anyway. Besides, I have more important things to do right now. And why did Toku faint? There's gotta be a reason for it. Because she checked this. The fridge. It's open. But I'm sure they're over they were all shut last time I was here. Right. Kyoko was just there on the side. She faints so easily. Kyoko. Makoto. It's getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? Indeed. I'm sorry if I made you worry. No, you don't have to apologize. Listen. But listen, about this room. Oh yeah, it's it would seem it's a morgue. Yep. I knew it. I suspected as much, and Toku must have looked inside the fridge, seen what was in there, and well, there you have it. You knew she'd faint? Indeed. I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running past me. I assumed she must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the real reason became clear. It would seem... I imagine she came here to investigate, and when she opened the slot there, that's when she saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. Why is everything gotta be so difficult with her? Anyway... Anyway, we should close it up. I don't want to leave it hanging around like that. Good idea. Makoto. Give me a hand with this. Kyoko approached the fridge, hands outstretched, but suddenly she stopped. So, uh, what's wrong? Listen. Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. Okay, how come? Because Mukuro's body is in there. Okay. <laughs> Mukuro's corpse. Mukuro's body is in the f inside a fridge. I see. Just like every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. Mastermind did that because they assumed we wouldn't be doing the class trial over again. I guess. So. You may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at the body. Oh, that's right. Kiko didn't get a chance to check the body during last investigation. Oh yeah. Makoto. I need to do my own examination of the corpse as soon as possible. I'm going to find a clue this time and I'm going to grab the mastermind by the tail. Okay, so what should I do? So then. Why don't you just wait over there? I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Just wait over there. That's it. Can I Okay. This one? Yeah, we've seen this in the tool shed. It's the same as the one I found in the garden tool shed. And if I remember the tarp, it had a stamp on it that said Biolab. And that the tarp was used to help camouflage the murder in the garden. At some point, someone got it from the Biolab and took it over there. Okay, updated. What are you done now? Um, this on the left side, okay. On the right side, that it would seem okay. It seems the blue light comes on when a slot is occupied. So, when someone is in there, the blue light comes on. Looking around the number of lights that are on, including Mukuro's, there's nine in all, right? But as they said, nine in all, right? Nine, right? But it, it needs to be ten because. For example, if Mukuro really died, this is number number 10 should be there, right? Because there's 16 students. But I think the body right here, that's Junko's body. Nine? Nine lights. Biolab lights, okay. So I should ask Kyoko about the group photo. Hey, uh, Kyoko's in the back right, near Toko. After all, she's in it too. Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but I wanted to talk to you about something. What is it? Uh, it's about that announcement Monikuma made earlier. <sighs> you mean the one uh, about a hint or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. Why not? Because... The only reason he'd give us a hint at this point would be to confuse us, to cloud our judgment. Kinda true. 
I can solve this mystery on my own without whatever hints he may have to offer. That's a good point. I wish I could go back and do the same thing, but what's done is done, I guess. Standing here, looking at her, I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? Did the mastermind forge that picture as to trap or yeah, as a trap to confuse someone? Or confuse us? And that's gotta be it. There's no other explanation. Whew. Okay, Makoto, I'm done. Jeez, that was fast. Indeed. Anyone can do good work if they go slow and that's it. I'll make my report brief, okay? Report. So did you find anything? Indeed. I paid careful attention to the wounds in a trace as of blood, and it seemed highly likely that the stomach wound and the blow to the back of the head were inflicted after death. Yes, I told you, this body was Junko. See? After death. Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my findings. So that means neither of those were the fatal injury, right? But that was... or what was a fatal injury? Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. This is after the death, right? He has struck in the head, but it was covered in other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Only other option is those other wounds, but the file said that they were old. Oh, remember? Uh, is it here though? Is it here? No, no, I'm not sure, but... Was it Byakuya? Okay, okay, okay. See, Mukuro did not have a single scar or wound when she came to Hope Speak Academy. Okay, okay. Is that right? Where does where does it say they're old? Because all the Monokuma files says that they they were inflicted at least several days ago. Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, I'm really confused now. Honestly, I'm confused now. I'm, I was thinking about Junko. Junko's body is that, and then... Yeah. This one. Saying that she, Mukuro did not have a single scar wound. Oh my god, it's confusing, man. I don't know. All the Monokuma file says that they were inflicted several days ago? I guess I don't see the difference. Wrong. Well, the difference is immense considering the impression they give. Listen. You seem to be equating several days old with simply old, However, but that doesn't quite follow logically. Old wounds make it sound like they've been there forever, like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? But well, we all get the Monokuma file, right? After she was killed? So if the wounds were at least a few days old, there's no way they could have had anything to do with it. So then. But what if Mukuro herself wasn't killed within the last few days? At the very least. Certainly, you can allow it as one of the many possibilities, can't you? One of many. Right. A detective doesn't have supernatural powers. There's no way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible scenarios as they can. In other words... They envision these possibilities without prejudice, without bias, using only their logic and common sense. Then, as they investigate, they test what they find against each of these possibilities. <laughs> of course, me telling you this doesn't mean you'll be any good at detective work. But beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep it in mind for the future. Yoko's account, okay. Hey. So if there's anything else you would like to know, condition. Come to think of it, there was one thing. Earlier, when I was looking at Mukuro's profile, it listed her weight at height and weight. So. 5 foot 7 and 97 pounds. Vitals are 31, 22, 32. Did I get all that right? You remembered all that? And they are indeed consistent with the corpse. So then. Indeed. And don't forget that about the Fenrir tattoo. There's absolutely no mistake. Oh yeah, I forgot the Fenrir tattoo though. Yeah, I forgot about that. So who is this body then? Junko? Or Mukuro? Oh my god, I don't know. This game man, it's confusing as hell. Indeed. Our victim in this case is without a doubt Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba's profile. And? Is that all you wanted to ask? 
I think so. So then. Then it looks like we have no further business with Mukuro's body. Okay, let's get going. It's kind of chilly in here. Oh, wait, are we not gonna put the body back? Do you think it's kind of sad leaving it out like this? Why? Sad? But did you forget she was our enemy once? A part of the ultimate despair. But she still got killed. She's still a victim. Hey. Have you ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sow? Well, yeah, but still. Whew. You're really naive, you know that. It's quite appalling. But she could have abandoned me, but she decided to help me instead. So for someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? So then. I think we've done all we can do here. Back to our separate investigations, yes? Okay, hold on. I still have one more thing to do. Yeah, the picture. Show it to her. Something I need to talk to you about, Kyoko. Oh, the book, the pocketbook. Yes, I need to ask her about the pocketbook I found in that locker. If I don't do it now... I did have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I had to ask. What? Okay, go ahead. Then out with it. Have you really not seen your dad even once since you got here? What? So... What do you mean by that? Well, you know all those lockers in the second floor of the dorms? Indeed. I do, yes. But to get into any of the lockers, you need to have a handbook of whoever the locker belongs to. Actually, I managed to get them open using that emergency handbook. I see. The one you found in the headmaster's hidden room. And? So, did you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? I found a pocketbook and after looking through it... I think it must be your pocketbook. Why is that? What makes you say that? Because... Like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to get into it, right? I can't imagine those lockers belong to any of us. After all, we got... We only got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is, there's no way I could have ac had access to any of those lockers. And if I did, I have a pocketbook. Why would I bother putting it in a locker? Everything you just said makes perfect sense, but there was something written inside. It was about the headmaster, about your father. What? If that's true... Could that mean the video is real too? Video? Oh, there's a video? What video? Makoto. I think everything is finally starting to fit together to reveal a cohesive picture. Although I'm afraid that the picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. Okay, what are you talking about? I... I need to go investigate those lockers right now. I need to confirm what you just said with my own two eyes. Okay, let me give you the headmaster's handbook. That way you can... So... That won't be necessary. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have any problem opening the locker with my own handbook. I guess. Yeah, after all, it would seem that it is my locker. Your locker? Makoto. If you watch this, it'll all make sense. Urgent interviews, a DVD. And it says the Class 78 Urgent Interviews. So... I found it in that hidden room after you left. Anyway... I don't have time to explain what I think it means, so just watch it and see for yourself. I think you'll realize exactly what it means. You'll understand why you found my pocketbook in a place none of us have ever seen before. Okay, none of this makes sense right now. Yes, true. But I guess that means there's some important clue on this DVD. DVD? A DVD? Makoto. I haven't seen a DVD in a long time, man. Oh, and now it's my turn. Do you have a second to listen to me ramble? In other words... So, as it turns out... The arrangement I did didn't stick. What I mean is I'm less and less sure of everything, even my own feelings. You're talking about your dad, right? I can never find the answer to the questions I wanted to ask for the rest of my life. And all because of the mastermind. However... But there's one thing I'm sure of. When it comes to the mastermind, there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. I... I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is just one more reason to follow through on that. Kyoko's eyes burn with the fire of determination. The determination to defeat the mastermind. <laughs> it's strange to be confronted with his death and suddenly feel this way. 
I couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. Why? So why is it? Why does it bother me so much to know how he suffered? It's ridiculous. There's just no understanding it, I guess. She let out a small laugh as she said that. But her smile was filled with sorrow. Whew. So that's it for my rambling. There's still uh, much to do before I can consider my task complete. You're right. Hey. But keep this in mind. There's only one, only, only ever one absolute truth. Whether truth serves justice or suffering. Whether it's the greatest truth or the worst. Okay, what do you mean? Makoto. Even if the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness, you still can't give up a hope. Absolutely not, because... Because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Sorry if that was strange. So then. Anyway, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trial. Leaving behind that final farewell, Kyoko was gone. Okay, let's check the DVD, I guess, in the AV room. Okay. We're not gonna lose. The AV room is... It's been a while since we went there. Second floor, or was it the first floor? Yeah, it's been a long time. This one. This floor, main hall... Okay, here. AV room. Okay, moment of truth right now. Moment of truth. What will we see? Or what will we see? This should be able to play the DVDs just fine. Well then, I'd better take a look. I took the DVD Kyoko gave me and put it in the player. It said that it was playing, but nothing appeared on the screen. I started to do. I stared into the black of the monitor. It must have been only a few seconds. But to me, it felt like an eternity. And then all of a sudden, I, an image appeared. Sayaka. It took me by total surprise. I hadn't seen Sayaka in who knows how long, and there she was. Okay, then. Are you ready to begin? The voice I heard was the man positioned on one of the side of the screen. It was a voice of a middle-aged man. So this is the... Headmaster, I do yeah. apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. It sounded like he was trying to make a joke, but Saika's tense face didn't move a single millimeter. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like insurance. So please don't worry too much. Now then, let me get straight to the point. There is a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Uh, um... You wanted me to accept that? Psycho was obviously at a total loss. It made total sense. Who would agree to spending the rest of your life in this school? I... She accepts. Thank you. And I'm sorry about all this. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. As if on cue, that's where the video cut out. There was a lot I hadn't understood up until now. But this, only this... I simply couldn't comprehend what I heard because I know how much Saika wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. She wanted that so bad she tried to frame me for murder. True. <laughs> so why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat there thinking about it, I noticed a sudden light. On the monitor, the video that I thought was finished flashed back on screen. Okay, so next, and if I was confused before, what I saw next pushed me right over the edge. Oh, it was you. It's you, I mean. What I saw was me. Possibly undeniably me. So, Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. 
me and the headmaster were looking at each other. He and I were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. But I, the I in here and now, had absolutely no memory of it. I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less sitting down to talk to him like this. Now, shall we get straight to the point? Makoto, there's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. This can't be real. I said yes. I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? So yeah, look at this. Their tragedy, I guess it's really, really big. I mean, they're, they they have a calling for the tragedy. Like, I forgot what's it called uh, when Alter Ego said it, right? But I guess it's much, much more worse that they have no choice like look at what makoto is saying we don't have much of a choice anyway right so what is happening outside is much much worse right than what i'm maybe thinking like i maybe like for example the outside got bombed but maybe it's much much worse than that like maybe a lot of what do you call this a lot of bad people took over the place outside who knows right but yeah for them to live in the school forever something extremely bad happened outside but i promise that as long as you're in this school i will do everything i can to protect you yeah but that didn't happen you died and all of us then the students killed each other with no memories of this as the headmaster of hope's peak academy that's the very least i can do for you Once again, the video got cut out. From there, the video repeated the same scene again and again with the others. Byakuya. Soko. Aoi. So pretty much the students that are still alive, I guess. Everyone. They all said that they agreed to live in the school forever. And then... Yoko. Her interview with him had been recorded just as clearly. Without a doubt, she had met him. Oh, yeah, we're gonna see it now. She'd sat down with the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy, her father, and when he asked her his question, she answered the same as everyone else. She accepted a life within the school. Just as Kyoko's interview was wrapping up, the monitor suddenly went black. It wasn't just the monitor, the DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Which, of course, meant the DVD wasn't playing anymore. The heck just happened? Say what? Monokuma is there. He stopped it now. Oopsie, it looks like it broke out of service. What? It just so happened to break just now. Too bad. Now then, when... Doesn't matter. Failure can strike anywhere, anytime. <laughs> That's what failure is, right? Failure, my ass. You got the power on purpose. Well, whatever. Even if I watch the whole thing, it'd just be more of the same. He'd ask him the question and they'd all say, I couldn't help myself. I let out a huge, exasperated sigh, but as I did, I remembered something. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. I disconnected. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point, my memory was gone. And at the time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what what would make you forget all of that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems too much convenient, or much too convenient. A convenient outcome. Something that happened or seemed to obviously work in favor of the mastermind. So it doesn't mean I've lost my memory too. I mean, isn't it obvious that you lost your memory, Makoto? <laughs> like, you don't remember all of these things that's been happening. You see the videos, see pictures, and you still don't believe it? What about the others? Have you all forgotten? Or... Interview DVD. Is it the end of the investigation? For anything that has a start, there has to be an end. And if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start. 
There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black, there is no storm that won't eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. Which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again, because the end is only the beginning. Anyway, let's get started. The beginning of the end of the class trial. Everyone gather once again at you know where. <laughs> Finally time, it's about to begin again. The class trial is going to start. The final one, the final class trial. The last time all our lives will be on the line. Last time hope and despair are on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay then, this is the end. Dude, I can't wait for this. Yes. Uh, I can wait for it to all be revealed. I guess I'm the first one this time. Makoto. You're early, Makoto. Listen. Does it mean you feel prepared? Yeah, for now at least. But where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However. Uh, don't worry. I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like she said, they're here. Biakia. They're all, I guess, uh, suspicious of Makoto still. They arrive one after the other, but they all had the same state of shock. Dude, they're thinking Makoto is the mastermind. Yeah. Monokuma gave them pictures, probably, and Makoto's not there. And I want to see them, but they're not showing it. Like, look, they're angry. They're not even talking. Silence. And there wasn't any normal silence. It was a deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial and genocide you too. Me, so I appear. Oh, I'm on fire. Strong silent master is so wonderful, so cool, so hot. My loins are ablaze. Yes. Now listen, everything will do just fine if you leave it to me. My beautiful scissors! With my scissor, a sharp scissors in my hand, I'll stab and gouge and shiv a master of evil. But I thought he couldn't kill anyone but the adorable little boys. <laughs> if it's what master wants, it can be a boy, girl, or anything in between. I can handle it. <laughs> and now she's back to the other Toko. <sighs> no human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Is everyone here? And wearing our gloomy Gus faces, I see. Well now. Well then, uh, let's begin. Thrills, chills, kills! The final class trial is gonna be slattered in pitch black despair. Play Maxim Sorrow. That's fine. Are you right? This is uh, the final class trial, and this time it'll be fair. How strange. What do you mean, this time? Stop it all the slander. I'm a bear in a good standing, you know. Unbelievable. If there was a Mr. Fair Guy Universe contest, I'd take home the tiara every year. I'm gonna win this game super fair and square. Today, I'm feeling white. And I'll make sure everyone is watching at home knows that despair is mightier than hope. Stop talking. Enough of your tedious drivel. Begin the trial already. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's begin the trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below. You guys. So don't try and run away. <laughs> Laughing as loud as ever, Monokuma disappeared. <laughs> Whatever. In the name of my family. Yes, I know, the Byakuya Togami family. This will be over in no time. With an inexplicable confidence, Byakuya was the first into the elevator. One by one, the others followed. Okay, I'ma guess. Hina is gonna shout in the beginning and it's gonna say, Oh, it's you, Makoto. You're the mastermind. <laughs> Everyone is gonna blame him instantly. Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the elevator. Hey. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid, suspicious of each other. However. But you know what why that is, don't you? I think so. However. Well, you can tell us all about that soon at the class trial. 
You're right. I'm ready. So... We're ready to win, right? Of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. And then Kyoko was aboard the elevator. I started making my way toward the opening. A step after step at gaping wall. I resolved that this would be the last time. I repeated to myself that there was no fear and no misery left. I pushed the anxiety down. I calmed my trembling body. And finally, on steady legs, we went in. Honestly, I want to look at the old photos, right? Of when they're in the elevator. Like, are they still standing in the same spot that they were standing in the beginning, right? Because, no, no, what I mean is, in the beginning, we had much more students, right? So, this elevator was filled. So, I want to see, like, did they move the characters or they did, or what they did, just maybe remove the characters one by one, right? I'll check it later. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper still. Deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And it fell. I closed my eyes and sight fell away. All sound too disappeared. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later? I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to an end. Slowly open up my eyes. This is the final trial scene. What do you think? Isn't it just perfect, the background for deciding the person's fate? Yeah, it's a different one again, right? Yeah! It's a long-awaited last stage, the always exciting final boss battle. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. Thrills, chills, kills! Let's begin. Yes, we're gonna save. But, yeah, we're gonna do that in the next episode. So, kind of confusing um evidences that we got right because yeah the character is dead like for example junko she's dead right and then it seems like the body that we saw in the garden was her and then i remembered yeah you got a tattoo of the fenrir right on the right hand i forgot about that so i don't know anymore but what i'm gonna say is uh yeah mukuro is definitely involved in team despair for sure but junko is as well for sure i don't know how i don't know why we'll have to see but this is gonna be a really really good class trial this is the last one right and probably gonna be the end so we'll probably try to have this class trial next time i did the class trials fully every time right but next episode as maybe it will be the last one maybe we will we'll try to uh what do you call this make it two parts right because it might be very very long as i suppose everything is going to be revealed right and i really can't wait for that it's going to be super super exciting so anyways uh we're going to continue this and do more of uh, trigger happy havoc danganronpa in the next one so i'll just see you then guys bye bye